Hello and welcome back! I am Lord Ravenwork. This is XCOM Enemy Unknown, Enemy Within Season 1. We have most of our soldiers, recently did an alien landing mission, and we're working on getting ourselves a new fighter craft over at the research department. However, our cash reserves are a little bit low. Panic is manageable. We could use some more, uh... Whatchamacallit, satellites, but... We are in no great need at the moment. Anyways, let's see if we can do a mission. We also have a covert operation ready in three days. Aircraft transfer satellite coverage now available over Germany. So naturally, we should send an extraction squad. We are confident that you will handle this matter with discretion. Okay. This more or less looks like the, uh... the team I would want to send along. So, let's launch the mission. Wait a minute. Did I send a mission with someone carrying the, um, the stun gun? We have a lead regarding an exalt oh, cell well. operating in Brazil. We'll need to ensure our operative safety in order to secure the necessary data. Okay, so, first of all, let's take a look at our map. Our operative was in position to transmit the data they'd acquired when Exalt forces moved into their AO. The encoder is currently shielding our transmitter's position, but if Exalt manages to hack the encoder, they'll be able to locate the transmitter. If they hack both, any hope we had of recovering the data intact will be lost. We have a new objective. So... Here is our operative, and this is the encoder, I think. Wait, is it? No, I think this is the encoder. And it's on the other side of the map. I'm a bit worried about... Now we'd be able to get people into position to protect it. I think we just kind of need to rush in. Heading to that location. Um. I say. Let's move the snipers forward last. Encod. I'm going to move you Feel here. Edberg. In Bewegung. You're up there. Feel like it's been a while since we've brought Edberg on a mission. 
Mostly we've been going with Prusus, haven't we? I like Prusus. He's a lunatic. And that's cool. Dobre. And then I am going to have Belotus moved here. Which is technically dashing, so we can't overwatch this turn. Now. I am going to... Not move Alexandar. So, naturally, we want to keep moving people towards the encoder over here. On the move. Do not actually see anyone at the moment, which is of concern to me. And also, I can't seem to actually order my sniper into the position I want for idiotic reasons, I would have to presume. I want him... Oh, the, why is this... That is frustrating. Why would I want to move him there? Why, I ask you, that's a terrible position. I will... No! God damn it, game, are you a fucking idiot? There! That's where he should be. Now, in card. We should probably send someone over towards Alexander. I imagine he'd probably get some soldiers that he'd have to deal with. And I think for that job we should send... Who should we send? Well, Aroa is closest, but I think Dobre is the person to send. So... Um... Yeah, Dobre. We want Aroa at the front lines, after all. So now we move forward Eatberg. And Aroa. And... Now it's interesting we haven't seen Exalt yet. Normally, uh... Normally, Exalt is front and center in these missions. Haven't seen I'm any of them yet. Apparently, there are some Exalt over in this direction. Do not actually see them yet, though. 
which worries me. Okay, so now I am going to move Alexander because he's got an escort Position nearby. Confirmed. Alexander, you stick it close to Dobre. Aroa, I want you on the front lines with the main forces. Overwatch confirmed. And Overwatch. Commander, we have an exalt unit attempting to hack the encoder. If we don't prevent them from gaining access, they're going to find the transmitter's coordinates. We've got a wave of new signatures closing on strike one, Commander. Multiple hostiles inbound. Well... I was wondering when you guys were going to show up to the party. Anyways, no one's on Overwatch, so... I'm sort of just going to... Affirmative, Commander. Go here. Right. You've got an 84 against him. Can do up to 8 damage. Ninety-two against that guy, though with up to eight damage on him, it almost seems like a bit of a waste. Why don't you go for the sniper up? No, wait, that's an assault. No, actually, heavy. Kept misdiagnosing that enemy's class. Game just hates it if I try to click in that area. Okay. How do I select my sniper? There we are. No shots. Damn, that's disappointing. Well, okay. Let's focus on the matter at hand. 173. Well, you've got a 100 against that guy and a 50% critical that does up to 7 damage. Well, the critic. Okay, so whatever. Decent chance of killing him. Now, as for you. You have a 76 against him. G-O-N. One hundred against him, and with only one hit point I'm gonna use the pistol. Um, you could go for a better sniping perch. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. That one's especially bad on account of... cannot actually select it. Which is very weird. Now, as for you, I say... Run and gun. Get as close to that guy as possible. Ch 
Shoot him dead. Now, last movement, these got these two here. I'm on it, Commander. We're gonna slowly move them in the direction of the battle, but try to keep them within range of the transmitter. In case you know things start going to shit. Oh yeah, I think there's a sniper up there. Taking fire over here. Target acquired. You'll be fine. Okay, well, Encod, go here. You'll have good sight over the battle scene. And you've got a 96 against that guy up on the perch. Well, don't use the damned pistol. Not unless you're shooting at someone with only one health. You can do up to six damage and a 10% chance at a crit. Uh, it's not the best, but... Now let's get the Lotus up here. Exalt has a number of communications relays nearby. If our operative can get in close to one and use the encryption keys recovered with the enemy data, they should be able to temporarily disable Exalt's comm systems. Now, I'm wondering something. Moving. Could I possibly get two of them with Kinetic Strike? Damn it, apparently I can't even avoid hitting the damned encoder. Which pretty much means you just have to shoot them and hope for the best. I'm going to need ammo Got soon. It. Yes, you will. Uh you two still wanna keep you within range of the encoder. So we've got two people left with shots. Now, Aroa... I think you should go here. And you've got a hundred against the guy behind the wall. And you can do up to seven damage with a 100% chance at a crit. Go for it. Now as for you, Eatberg. They don't have eggs. Kill him. On And you two overwatch. You're there to protect the transmitter in case something goes wrong. See, now that was a very poor choice of moves for that guy. Reinforcements are in the area, Commander. Okay, first of all, the Lotus. You got a decent shot on that guy. And you can do up to 7 damage with an 80% critical chance. Okay, 
Oops, there goes another one. Let's see, you really don't have any good shots available. Cod's got good aim on both the other guys. And most of the rest of our people are out of ammunition. Uh, I guess take the 57. We just destroyed some of our own cover, didn't we? Okay then, Incod, you're up. You can't hope to kill that guy. Shoot him instead then. Damn it! And the rest of the people here need to reload before we can do anything else. Ready to engage. Hmm. I am going to actually start moving these guys a bit further up. I can still shoot in the director in the direction of the transmitter anyways. Okay. But I'm suspecting we need more guns I over at the encoder. Well, that was a turn well used. Even better. Okay, I think I may have been worried over nothing. You should have to be Now, Belotus, why don't you finish this guy off? Now, who here has decent ammo? Position confirmed. It looks like this is the last of the hostile reinforcements, Commander. We just need to hold out a little longer. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we should probably deal with the one who just hopped up here. I'm thinking, anyways. Uh, don't, don't use the laser pistol. Or um, actually, maybe do. Since all I'm caught here has is his pistol. Or we could just shoot him with the sniper rifle. With Panik, uh, Belotus's sniper rifle, and finish him off, 
while we have a COD reload. Oh, you get another shot? Who should I have you kill? Well, that's a decision we can save until we've thinned out the uh, herd a little bit. Meanwhile, Encod needs to... Let's see, you have a 76 against that guy? I think you should take it. Take the shot. Moving out. No, oh, you can't hit him. Why don't you take out that guy up there? I really like kinetic strike. Engaging close quarters target. Down he goes. Now, below this, I've decided who you should double tap. Though, actually, maybe use the headshot ability for the extra crit chance, because we need it. And he still did not crit. Okay. Change of plans, here's what we're going to do. Exalt's troops are down, and we've secured the transmitter. Well done. These guys made poor life choices. Well, anyways, that's one Exalt cell eliminated. We'll have to search for another one next month, sometime. I'm glad to see our troops aren't hesitating to wipe out the aliens. I guess I shouldn't have expected any mercy. There weren't any aliens in this mission. Well... Yeah, okay. Intel decryption completed. Recalculating possible exalt facility locations. So, we know it's not in India, Brazil, or Europe. That really narrows it down. We're gonna need to do a few more of those, but anyways, we have a satellite almost operational over China. We've got ships in every continent except Africa, but we don't really need them in Africa. At least not yet, anyways. Um, let's see if we can get to the Council report. Satellite coverage now available over incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Thank you, mysterious guy who never shows his face, and we're supposed to just, I don't know, I guess trust him? Explicitly or implicitly, I... Oh shit, I don't know what the difference between those two are. I mean, they're almost certainly opposites of each other, but I don't even really know what they mean.
Oh well. Irrelevant. Remember, we will be watching. Mm, I'm gonna see if we can wait for the new fighter craft before I end this. New fighter craft research is complete! And this thing is awesome. Overshiv is alright. The Firestorm is awesome. And now you want the hyperwave communication. Um, I mean, I probably shouldn't delay the main storyline missions any longer. Fine. I appreciate your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. So We've tell certainly me. had an influx of new developments recently. Well, the sectoid commander is an intriguing subject. I have to admit, this device has also captured my attention. So, how many firestorms can we get? We only have enough space for two of them. Well, I'm gonna submit the order. I want those firestorms as soon as possible. And is there anything else that I want to do right now? Um. Do we have any new, uh, vehicle weapons? The Phoenix Cannon. You know, I think the Laser Cannon might be better than the Phoenix Cannon. I think there's a Plasma Cannon we can get for these, but... Guess it's not installed yet. Meanwhile, we have laser cannons that we want to start attaching to some of our ships. Confirm. Laser cannon for that. Oh, and let's transfer that one to Africa. Confirmed. See if I can... You know... Get myself another... Firestorm. I would like as many of those Firestorms as possible. But anyways, I'm about out of time for today. So, until next time, I am Lord Ravenwork. This has been great. And I will see you all later. Bye!